Hey guys, what's going on today? We've got another resin video, and I'm using 3D RS's Hero Resin is what we're going to be printing with. And it's my bottle's not completely full. So over the last few weeks, I've used part of it in another project. I don't know where. It's not completely full, but we're going to make this work one way or another. And I like to go over their website and check them out and see what they got. Okay, here's their website right here. 3dresinsolutions.com and today we're printing with their Hero Resin. It's offering a wide range of use. Hero Resin features very low odor, fine detail, high weatherability, and excellent shock impact resistance, their flagship product. Yeah, well anyway, on their website, they've got many different resins here, as you can see in my last two videos. They've got their Hero, uh, their Fast Plus engineering resin, they have what they call 3D RS Mud, which is a mixture of different resins they sell. They've got settings for different printers. Not every printer, but they do. They are always adding more and more to that. And uh, just scrolling through here, they've currently got settings here for the Mars Anticubic Photon. But I have the Anticubic Photon Mono X. They do not have a profile for that, so I uh, emailed them to get some recommendations. They're currently working on getting more settings here. But if you don't find something here on their page, you can always head over to the Facebook groups, and people are always giving out different settings that works for them. So there's always you know something there. So depending on which resin you're using, they have different profiles for different resins that they sell. Kind of scrolling down through it a little bit. Lots of information. And let's see, it looks like they're over on Facebook and I believe that's Instagram. Yeah, Instagram logo there. So you can always email the company if you have any questions. They are based here out of the United States of America, and their resident is based here in the U.S. And I'll set it over to DTR. They have a Facebook group only. I don't believe they're anywhere else, but uh, Daniel threads some art. I've been printing some of his work for a long time, different statues, and they got a lot of really cool stuff. Let's go ahead and I'll check a look at some of their pictures here and uh, kind of give you an idea what they got. Let's get through some of these. But... You know, these are really cool. Look at these little guys. These are very cool. You know, you can print these in FDM. You can resin print them however you want. But, yeah, these are really cool. And all the ones that I'm going to print today are going to be at 75% scale. And I'll be printing them on my uh, Frozen Mighty 4K and my Anacubic uh, Photon Mono X. But, yeah. Yeah, some really cool little guys here. I don't know, he's got like, I don't know, 50, 75, I could say. I'm not really sure. But he's just got tons and tons of awesome designs that he's, they've done. But yeah, very cool stuff there. But yeah, uh, let me show you some pictures here in Cheetah Box, some of the things I'm going to be printing. We'll jump over to the resin printer. I'll grab out my cell phone. We'll do some filming, and then we'll come back here and... Uh, I'll show you what I printed. So we, this, will, this will be going on for probably three or four days. So thank God for YouTube and cutting videos and splicing things together. And maybe we can get all this done in 10 or 15 minutes. So here we go. Well, let's see how it came out. Oh no. My first failure on the Anacubic. Oh no. Yeah, we can see right through the cover there. Ooh, what's that? There's a foot or something. Unbelievable. Yep, and uh, Sonic Mighty 4K is still printing, so let me pull off both covers here and we'll see what we got going on. Alrighty. Well, this was a Vader Chibi. And, uh,. Yep, got a problem there. And then over here, in the Hero Resin, we're printing the Stormtrooper Chibi by DTR. So, so far, so good on that one. And I got to see what I changed on my settings here. I got to, I'll pull this off here, but we'll look at it, and then I'll reprint whatever screwed up. Alrighty, he was a total loss. Yep. I don't know. 
Got to get the settings right with this Hero Resin. So I thought it'd be good to go, but it's not. So something's not right. Let me see if I can go in and tweak them and get that fixed. I know I'm supposed to print really slow with it, so we'll see what's going on here. I'll clean my mess up and get started again. Okay, here's where we're at on the resin. Since I didn't have enough of the fast resin, since the print failed to top it back off to reprint the model, because at some point, I guess, I used some of that resin in another print, which I'm not sure which one. I must have been running low on something and I mixed it because the bottle wasn't completely full, which would be my fault. And I have the rest of it in here in my Frozen Sonic Mighty 4K. And that print at the moment seems to be doing fine. I went ahead and I mixed up what I had of the, their, three, their three resins. I got their Fast Cool Gray. I got some of the white, the 3DRS Fast White. And then the remainder of the Hero resin. And I, as you can see, I've got all three there mixed together. I stirred it up with a spatula and we're going to go re-slice the model. Change some settings and hopefully this time it will come out perfect. So, anyway, here we go. See what we got here. I'll increase the density and supports on this one, but it's like we got a small hole over there in the build plate or the um, base. That's been hollowed. They both have been hollowed. And the drain hole there, but other than that, it came out good. It's like a minor issue there on the supports. So I'll take it off, throw it to Mean Green, clean it up, get it some, clean it real good with IPA, scrub it up, air dry it completely, and then we'll uh, cure it. But it looks pretty good from here, but we'll see. Alrighty, we've got a head, we've got a base with a hole in it, and we have no body. So the body didn't make it, so. Anyway, the head came out really nice. It's been hollowed three millimeters thick. I see no issues with the head. Of course, I gotta let it cure and examine it, but it looks good. The base came out really good except for that hole right there in it. I hollowed it again three millimeters thick. Yes, it had internal support, so that hole shouldn't be right, there. Let's see, well, they came out here. Yeah. Alrighty, so we started out with straight hero resin, and then at well, about halfway through, as you've seen, I added other resin because I was getting low, so I have mixed resin through part of it. But uh, let's get the cover off and take a look. Oh. That Chibi Darth from DTR looks like it came out good. Throw them in some mean green, some IPA. Dry them real good, cure them, yeah, it looks pretty cool. So now i got to reprint the base, the body to the Stormtrooper. So, we've got the file sliced, I got on the SD card, we'll get that going here. Let's see if I can get them off the build plate with one hand. So I am holding the phone today, let's see here. Got the trusty little scraper from Anticubics, a nice beveled edge. Let's see how it goes here. There we go. Let's see if I can get underneath the other one. Best way to get these off if you don't have a flex plate, just take your scraper and wiggle it and just barely get under one corner and then it usually drags right underneath them really well. So there, yeah, and then they're off. Make sure I'm no resin on my glove here. And we'll come over here to the ultrasonic cleaner. Let's turn it on. Get him submerged since he's hollow. We're gonna get him submerged. Yeah, it's like it's about time to change my green mean green. It's got a bunch of resin in the bottom of it, you know, kind of mixed with the green and makes it like a cloudy mess, but it's still working. Body in there, base, and we'll let them go for like 10 minutes. Then I'll get the supports pulled off and then we'll clean them up in some IPA. 
So, in the meantime, let's uh, get the stormtrooper bodies going. The stormtrooper's body going. Alrighty, let's see if the stormtrooper's body got done on the reprint. Looking good from here. Let me pull off the cover and we'll take a peek at it. Yeah, increasing a support support density fixed problem. So it came out good. Very nice. And that was a mixture of the different resins since I was running low and I had to fill up that big vat. So, but yeah, it came out great. So, it's just all a matter of, you know, different resins. You have to get your settings right. It's just, it isn't one size fits all. So, you, you got to tweak for different things. Some things have to be tweaked more than others, and you know, so you got to figure out what profile works and what you have to do here and there. But yeah, it came out nice. So we'll get that cleaned up and we'll take a look at it. And we got the next stormtrooper all done. I changed out heads. Uh, he had two different designs here on the new and old style helmet. So I picked the other one. Now the little Darth Vader uh, mini will have a uh, two stormtroopers with him. Get that cover off. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, it came out good. Very nice indeed. Ready. Iron Man Chibi's done. Or Mini, not really sure what you'd call him. And I was running low on my 3DRS resin, so I mixed some other resin in with it to make up for it. That's the only thing bad about a mid-sized printer. you got to make sure you have enough resin to complete your model. But yeah, looking good. So, get that all cleaned up and uh, cleaned up, dried, cured, and uh, we'll check out all the models. Yeah, we got lots of little guys here all done. Um, these are from Little Big Planet from Daniel Fred from Art DTR. And as you've seen in the video, I had a failure on the Hero Resin. The head came out great, the base came out great, other than one tiny little hole that I had in it. But I took a little piece of one of my rubber gloves, I shoved it in a hole, and that kind of gave me some backing. And then I put some resin on top of it, cured of the UV flashlight. So I just need to touch up saying that. But the head came out really good. The base came out good. And then I didn't have much hero resin left over. So I wound up taking their other two resins that I had from them on the previous videos. And I started mixing it. And then I went on to reprint the body here, which you can see came out really good. Once I increased my support density from like 50 to 80, I believe I showed it on the screen, that solved the problem. But, you know, with all resins, it's a matter of getting your settings right. Some resins work great with whatever settings you got, and then most resins you have to go in and tweak all your settings and get things just right. But once you get that figured out, then you're good to go forever. But, you know, and then here's Darth Vader, a little baby Darth. I don't have him glued to the base. He's just kind of sitting on there. But, yeah, he came out really good. I have a few little places here I've touched up sanded. Um, and then I have a few more places I still need to touch up and sand. But these haven't been primed yet. And we set him down to fall off his base. And I've got another stormtrooper here. And uh, like I said, I've got the heads glued on, but I don't have them glued to their bases yet. But yeah, they came out really cool. And DTR has like, I don't know, 50, 75 of these things. Uh, little, uh, from Little Big Planet. They're really cool. And uh, there's just so many. I've still got a drain hole here I've got to plug. And on the back, because um, these, are, these were hollowed. Um, let's see. And on Darth Vader, he's solid. I went ahead and look, obviously his, his uh, lightsaber solid. His body is solid. His head was hollowed. So I've got a drain hole here in the back of the head and down below. So I can rinse it out really good, drain it, cure it. And then I've got Iron Man here. And I took what leftover resin I had. I dumped another resin I had in there with it. Because on a bigger vat, obviously you can't print and you got almost no resin because the vat is so big. So I dumped some other resin that I had in with it and I got this completed. But the little Iron Man came out really cool. So, and his head was hollowed, his body was hollowed, and the base was hollowed. I just put multiple drain holes in it so I could drain it really good, and I would have print. But yeah, these came out really good. So, yeah, uh, the resin works fine. It's just a matter of getting your settings right. So depending on what uh, printer you're using, I've got the 
the LG Mars, the original, and it seemed like no matter what I put in that as far as the resin, it just worked. I didn't have to go and tweak a lot of settings, but on these mid-sized resin printers, you do have to tweak your settings and get things right. Um, typically, the company, if not the, if not the company, the Facebook group with all the people out there will have recommended settings that you can use for different uh, types of resins. You know, different resins require different settings, different, you know, the amount of supports, uh, the lift, the... Uh, the uh, uh, exposure time there's so many different things you got to get figured out but you know and then somewhere like i say just work so yeah these came out really cool came out really good i'm very happy with it and i plan on printing a lot more of these little guys you know uh, i've printed all this big stuff behind me for so many years it's time to go little and these are cool these are like really cool but anyway yeah i hope you liked the video you know i Sometimes I get boring and I try to make new and cool content. So if you got any suggestions, I'd really appreciate it below. Please subscribe, like, give me a thumbs up, and uh, go check out 3DS, 3DRS Resin. And I'll have a link in the description below for DTR. If you'd like to check out some of these models, buy some of the files from me and print them yourself, there'll be links below. So thank you very much, and happy resin printing.